Okay, y'all, welcome back to my channel. Y'all already know it's your girl Dre Alexandria. And today, y'all can already tell my thumbnail. We finna do what's the meaning behind my tattoos. So, that's what this video gonna be about. We're gonna do that and we're gonna clean up. Cause I gotta clean, so I gotta get all these clothes and fold them up and stuff. So I'm finna clean up my room and you know, do all this stuff. And we gonna get into it. It's going straight to the ghetto. Seven o'clock. All right, so this tattoo, this was my first tattoo. Actually, I actually woke up and I said, mm. Y'all hold on. But don't mind it. We gonna clean it up. But basically, this tattoo, this was my first tattoo. I had to woke up. I said, ooh, I want a tattoo. Let me go get one. So, we just gonna call this tattoo artist Crayons. Because that's what the fuck my shit looked like when he did it. So, he did it. And then I got somebody else to cover it up and redo my whole tattoo. I would say his name, but I'm not gonna say his name because I don't know if he feel comfortable with being, you know, I just illegal friends. Okay. Oh, and this one, this was, this was my second tattoo. My second tattoo was on my leg. This was my third tattoo. Okay, so it's saying, you see it? It say, I am smart enough, successful enough, talented enough, pretty enough, beautiful enough. And it say positive vibes. And it got my daughter sign and a butterfly. So, I ain't gonna go into too many details about what this tattoo means. But, like, it's deep. Like, you have to know me personally to the know. But I actually got this tattoo uh, with my ex together. And I was kind of going through my little dark stage of, you know, me just feeling like I was you know, just feeling like I wasn't feeling like I was just feeling like I wasn't feeling like I was good enough or whatever, however I was feeling. But I was going through my little depression just stage but now that i got it i look back on like damn i came along fucking way so then i ain't gonna i got this y'all i was in love yes i got my i had got my ex name put on me and yeah we was talking about for like four years i got that on me so that's who name it is. But I'ma give it I'ma get it. I don't know. I ain't gonna go into details. But I'm thinking about getting it covered up. Cause I think it get to me through my little healing stage or whatever. But that's what that tattoo is. And then I got my grandma name on me. But well, that's not her name, it's her initial. And she died at the end of September and we bit her eyes up first. So now in my granny. That's what that is. I don't want to get, you know. But that's what they mean. And then, I got one on my leg. I'm going to insert that clip, but I got one on my leg. And it's my birthday. And hopefully in the future, it might help me. Because me, I don't ever keep my license, my driver's license. I don't ever keep none of it on me. So, hopefully like now, I didn't find me by my damn name, my birthday. And call this person for they can get in contact with my mama or somebody. So I got one, two, three, four. I got five tattoos. So, and I got one tongue piercing, two nose. I got this, I got this side pierced first. I got my actually I got a pierced at two seven times. I got this one pierced first. And I got this one pierced 
or my ex mother in law. That's the, um, you know, my lady. I got that on um, Pierce. I had buy two straw wings, and then I want to get my tongue pierced on um, around the time me and my ex got into it. When it was kind of started getting crackled in in the relationship, you know, I want to get my tongue pierced. You know, go back to this tattoo. I feel myself going into my little dark, mm. so I had to mm, I had to get something. To eat. But I'm actually going to get my next tattoo with my mama. We're going to get butterflies. So I'm going to do that. Um, but that was basically what all my tattoos need. A little backstory of them. And why I got these piercings and what made me get them. So, we've been talking about what's on my playlist too. Because I really don't got much on my playlist. But we've been listening to some of the music on my playlist while I clean up. Cause y'all know we gotta clean up, so we finna listen to some music on on uh, listen to music on my playlist. So first we been to listen to Mr. Right. We finna listen to some little snippets, <laughs> and we will be back with the cleanup show. It's crazy the things I've been hearing. I just been sitting back watching it flow. You mean to tell me a man could just do what he want and he still get a pot of the gold? You mean to tell me a nigga just gonna be a nigga? Ooh, baby, the bars on the flow. Pardon my soul. I don't mean no disrespect, but you bitches is stupid as fuck and you blame it on love. And that's understandable. Shot it at young nigga Cupid, adult, but a fact is a fact and I still call you stupid. If you just let a man do as he please, I can speak heavy on this and can spot on right out. Cause that stupid bitch used to be me and I used to be going through phones. Find all I want, stand we fucking on sight. <laughs> now I'm so bossy, you ever betray me. I promise it's fuck you for life. You gotta work, but you gotta learn it You want respect, but you gotta earn it I'm the one driving them crazy this time And all, I don't need a permit Cut out a cap and get back to the business You know what you want, girl, you know you a queen You gotta stand on your word and don't fold Don't get distracted by what's in them jeans We hold the weight, we call the shots Never forget being a woman is power If he can't stand in your face and be honest Never forget that little nigga a coward Welcome back I just finished cleaning up my room I forgot to record Cause my phone actually went dead but I hope y'all enjoyed that little um the story behind my tattoos and them clips I put in there. But now y'all already know we had to get our special the oxtails, the oxtails and the collars and the macaroni. Earlier y'all had McDonald's, but I ain't record that either because. Yeah, sometimes I just don't be wanting the camera in my face. I just be wanting to know my room. But since I cleaned up my room, I'm cleaning up, finish cleaning up. I'm, um, we gonna eat. And I gotta give y'all some tea because y'all see this boy delusion. Text me on Cash Up. Do y'all see those? Yeah, see y'all. So I gotta give y'all a story time. I got to give y'all a story time. I got to give you a story time. I got to give you a story time. So y'all already know. If y'all ain't did it at the beginning of the video, y'all doing that. Like, comment, and subscribe because it's fit to go down. I asked for um fucking collars. So move boy. Hold on. So back in October, I want to ask started talking to this boy. But me and is a bit and talk like a while back, like it, but it was always just texting type shit. So, I got drunk, and all right. I was like, hey, I ain't focusing on you in a minute. You feel me? That's what? 
Mom, I don't know. I don't know, man. But I don't know where it was. I was there. I woke up. My best friend takes me. It was a video. I was like, bitch. Bitch, it is fucking hard. Like, bitch, I'm just tired. Cause he wasn't doing shit. I'm talking about. And since he found me on social medias, I want him to watch it. So let's get to the story time. I think that first day, that first, well, we actually linked three times, but you, I want to say it was the third time. Some ill, you know. So after that, I kind of like, mm, you a little childish. Like, you a big ass dude. And I like little dudes. Like, I like skinny dudes. And, um, uh, He gave me real childish rises because for one, he had had company. Like you had to wait till your mom go out of town. I really didn't like it. Cause I've been paying the work, so that's kind of like, that's ready for that one. I'm doing it. You embossed my ex, bragging, red flag number one, one, the top number one, you is the truth. Me, I'm on my pimp shit, baby. I am sorry, why? Yes, it is. Here you go, y'all. I take my fan off. Come on. Come on. You want to see you? Hey y'all, it's Wiley in the cut. Game. You want me to fix you some oxy, baby? Damn, baby, you hungry. Let me fix your song. I just leave your song in the plate. So, but it's not really even the store time. It's just real. So, he'll text me and say, Hey, fuck, shit, like, oh, I love you. Nigga, you don't want to be with me. Hey, 
ain't that girl. So fast forward. I usually don't. I just don't look at my cash app unless I'm cash app or somebody. But this morning, so I'm just like, mm, check your cash app. And this is what I get. I get two of these. One right here. You see it. And then the other one right here. So guess how I responded. Right here. Because who was you? You mad. I just love when boys get mad at me. Because I want to talk to them. Because that means I don't apply pressure. 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 And get what? Can't no nigga knock me out my game again. And I want y'all to know. And I want anybody on here to know. If you want to keep a female or if you want to be with a female, you need to treat her right. Talk to her respect. Talk to her with respect, loyalty, consistency, and honesty. If you can't do that, then look, you're a coward. And that's going to be the end of my video. Bye.